All right. When you're getting caught up in your own dramas in your life and things that are stressing you out, bothering you, coming back to, will I remember what I'm worrying about in a week from now, in a month from now, in a year from now, can put some perspective on whatever is stressing you, is pulling you out of the present moment. Will I remember what I'm worrying about in a month, in six months, in a year? And then you realize like, oh, I'm giving way too much energy to this, this trivial thing. And I think it also can be related to realizing that we live in this simulation of a reality uh, where nothing exists outside of our own awareness. So whatever we are giving our attention to, whatever we're perceiving exists. But as we change our perspective, change our view, so does our awareness and so does what exists within our reality. So like imagine you're looking at a tree and then you turn your head and you look the, op op the opposite way. That tree that you were once perceiving a second ago no longer exists. But as soon as you give your attention to it, mentally or physically, then it exists again. So then it brings you back to what in my reality do I want to give my attention to? Do I want to create? And what things in my reality am I giving my attention to that aren't serving me and that are sort of sucking the life out of me, sucking my life force away, taking my energy, taking my attention? And what better things or things that I want to change, what can I change that to? What do I want to give my attention to and stop giving my attention to? And you, you look at the TV and the media and they're always trying to grab your attention, trying to, trying to control your reality. trying to control your reality. So then it begs the question of like, how can I stop giving away my attention and my energy to things that don't serve me and that rely on my attention for their existence? Because as we perceive something, then it exists, you know? The whole concept of local realism being false, of nothing exists outside of our awareness, so nothing, nothing that exists in another country that we don't perceive isn't there until we perceive it. You know, no bad things that are occurring in the media exist until they present them to us and they enter our minds and we observe them and we give them, we give them our attention so then they they persist and exist and become real. But until then, for you, for me, whatever we're choosing to perceive is what exists and everything else doesn't. And as we move about in our simulation, in our game, things exist, the map loads and new things become and other things fall away outside of the map as we move it through it. So it's, what are we, where are we giving our attention? What are we giving extra importance to that isn't worth what is worth? Yeah, but what are we giving our attention to that we realize when we, when we step back from our egoic mind and thought and caught in that thought 
What, what are we giving away our power to? What are we giving our attention to? That's becoming real in our reality that we don't, that doesn't serve us. And where are we getting pulled into this? All these stories and all these, all other people's realities. And it comes back to what do I want to choose? What do I choose to give my attention to? What do I want to create? What do I want to be? How do I want to be? And when something is pulling you, pulling you down, can you let it go? Can you not get caught up in the story, in whatever judgments you're placing upon it? And can you just observe it and let it pass by? Like, like sitting at the side of a river and watching things float by, like not getting attached to them, not getting attached to them and, and deciding what you want to perceive floating by you on that river. Because coming back, like not getting attached to all these, all these negative things that exist, that, that exist within our reality, we can choose. And then, and then, it, and then it's like, you might have the view of like, oh yeah, but you know, that's kind of like being ignorant, you know, not putting your head in the sand and not, not being aware of what's going on in our world and, and you've got to be edu educated and, and, uh, and, and keep up to date with everything that's happening. And it's like, well, we've proven that that's not the case. You know, science has proven that nothing exists outside of our awareness. So then what is capturing our attention? What are we, what are we caught in? What are we caught in this web of that's, taking away from us choosing, from us creating our own reality, and that is persisting to keep us in this someone else's game. And how can we create our own game and exist in our own, our own simulation that we choose versus someone else's that's being chosen for us? Hmm, something to think about.